Hi. Well, <clears throat> I've got another little project I'm going to uh, start today. I'm going to make a tactical knob or a knob extension for my T3 Tika uh, 223. Uh, an extension bolt knob. I've uh, made this one previously and I made it out of steel. Uh, and it's way too heavy. It sort of really puts too much weight on the end of the knob. But I'm going to make a new one out of aluminium today. So we're going to go out the shed and I'm going to show you how I knock up the bolt extensions. And it's really good because you do not have to modify the bolt at all. Um, you can take it off and the bolt is in still in pristine condition. But it is solid, won't move and it's really handy. Okay, let's go and have a look and see how it's done. Okay, we're out the shed here now. This is a really easy project. Um, it's fairly simple uh, for the, the Tika bolt. As you can notice on the end of the uh, bolt handle, there is a hole, uh, which are all on, on all of the Tika T3s. And we're going to use that hole to mount the extension handle. Uh, the extension handle's fairly simple. It's just a knob, uh, has an expander button in the end of the knob. And that slides into the hole, screws out with a Allen key, and that uh, holds it into the bolt knob. So uh, we'll just show, I'll just do a quick drawing and show you exactly what that looks like uh, and how I plan to make it. Now, this fairly simple design. We'll take a round bit of stock. Uh, do a through hole to here, smaller hole through there, and then another hole through here. That hole there is to take the screw, the centre hole there is to take the centre of the expanding piece and then we angle this out like so and that will fit over the bolt knob like that the hole in the bolt knob there the expander piece comes up into here Screw comes all the way through with the head down here. It's a bit, a bit messy, but uh, gives you a general idea of what happens. Uh, that piece there goes into the bolt knob, and as that gets pulled into it, it expands it and opens it up. Okay, first we're going to uh, cut off a bit of aluminium rod with the bandsaw. just long enough uh, for us to be able to do the job so we'll chuck this up in the lathe and as usual our first job will be to uh, face it off. and the other side as well. Right, our first job is to uh, measure the width of the bolt knob. And it is 
18.87 millimetres. Uh, work in millimetres for those people who work in uh, inches. Sorry about that, but uh, it actually works out easier for me to work in millimetres. Okay, so 18.87 millimetres is the size of the hole that I'm going to need to make to fit over the head of the bolt. Let's get a pilot hole started. We need a uh, drill bit sufficient enough to get the boring bar in there. And with this particular hole, we don't need to go in very deep. Just enough room to uh, get the boring bar in there. Alright, so I've gone in there uh, about 15mm. I'm not particularly worried about taking any measurements at the time being because it's not critical. Uh, all we want to do is get that bolt knob in there so that it's the right size. Then we can worry about depths of holes and everything else. Now, I'm going to be boring this uh, at an angle of... 30 degrees because that's what I've worked out works well for these bolt knobs okay so we'll just get this set up a bit better here we go Okay, so I'll make a little correction there. Uh, I won't go on an angle just yet. I need to actually make it the right size first. So we'll go straight in. Or so to go. Getting very close now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
one more pass. Eighteen point eight seven. Now we'll start to move it in on the angle. Okay, let's see how we go for fit. Looks pretty damn good to me. And once we shape that end of the rod off, it will mould perfectly into that. Alright, now I'm just going to angle this edge out, just so we get a basic shape on it. Alright, as you can see, I'm not your traditional machinist. Uh, I don't use a lot of measurements and stuff like that unless I really need to. Uh, most of this is just shaped. And uh, see how it comes out. When I start needing the critical measurements, I'll... Uh, I'll start doing that. We'll try running that in reverse, it makes it a lot easier. Now I'm using exactly the same angle as I did for the internal cut. 30 degrees seems to work pretty well. Plus being lazy I don't have to move my uh, compound around too much. And we'll do one last cut. Just to bring it down to close enough is good enough. first part of that shaped and next part is just drilling holes for the first hole we need to go right through and we'll be using a five millimeter drill bit because that is the size of the bolt that I use for the expander button our first hole We'll be right the way through. This hole here is 8.5 millimeters, um, and the rod that comes out, the expander button comes out, it's going to have to be that size to go in there. Um, I'm going to make it slightly bigger. Um, so what I'm going to use is. 11 30 second drill bit. I need to come in 25 millimeters. So we'll do the old trick of marking the drill bit. 
Okay. So. Mark the drill bit at 25mm. And I'll know not to go any further than that. Well, not deliberately anyway. Twenty-five millimeters. For this part of the job, I'm going to use some twelve millimeter aluminium rod. Face it off. in a center drill right and I am just going to pop in the dead center because my other ones, my live centres and so forth, are so big that I can't get my cutting bit onto the work, especially on these smaller pieces. 